Welcome to Chicken Culture. I'm your host, Diane, and I'm here with... I'm J-Law and J-Law and Smith. Thanks for having me. Thank you for taking your time. Oh. What's up? Tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm a digital content producer and a marketing strategist. Um, I went to SCAD for commercial photography. Mm -hmm. I'm born and raised in Atlanta. What part of Atlanta? Uh, north side, like Gwinnett County. Okay. I was born in Decatur, but I grew up on the north side. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I thought you were like from like Atlanta, like Atlanta, Atlanta. I didn't know you were from Gwinnett. Well, I'm from Atlanta, Atlanta, but, but we, we moved, you know, like once we got older, my parents was like, let's go to, you know, like a better school mm -hmm. system, just, you know, it's a better environment to raise a family, you know. Yeah, shit. what school, high school did you go to? Brookwood High. Really? Yeah. Where? For Owen Central. You went to Central? Yeah. Oh, what? Yeah, I know. I didn't it know. wasn't too far. Yeah, exactly. I was like, what? That's something like, you're telling me this and you were in Winnet. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Shout out to no. All right, so tell us a little bit more how you got into these two different, I feel like they're two different, two different, like, uh, lanes. And right. how you came merged that into being one. Right. So you mean, like, like photography? Free, yeah, and then the marketing. Space. And the marketing? Mm -hmm. Well, photography started, it started in high school. Mm -hmm. From one of my high school art teachers, uh, Miss Cruz, I did. I was doing graphic design at the time, mm -hmm. and then she noticed I was just good with the computer, good with Photoshop, good with Illustrator. So she was like, "Just take this camera and see like what you can do with it, basically." Mm -hmm. And that was like my first introduction to photography. So of course, like I was just playing around, shooting nature, mm -hmm. shooting my friends, and I actually started to enjoy it. And then I started to like enter competitions, and I, as the time went on, I got better and better and more comfortable with you know photography. And I was you know the early days of photography and marketing. I just feel like you know my both of my parents are like entrepreneurs. They come from okay. entrepreneur background. My mom is in marketing right now, and I just feel like that was always kind of instilled in me in a way. Mm -hmm. You know, like subconsciously, I I grew up around marketing. So, I, you know, what I did is I mixed the creative arts and marketing together and I use, in a way, I use, like, photography as a marketing tool, if it makes sense. Yeah. Because I feel like when you have a camera, like, it's a big, like, networking piece. Like, you have a camera, like, everybody likes dope photos. Like, yeah, who wouldn't definitely. like a nice photo, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So, in a way, I use that as, like, a networking thing, you know. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. So with that being said, how long have you been in photography for? Photography has been like six to seven years now. Okay. Yeah. Do you prefer to, or ha would you ever like, like to be in front of the camera or have you been in front of the camera for a couple of times? Because I know you just had this eBay thing we were talking about earlier. Right. So how did that come about and are you comfortable being in front of the camera? Well, you know, I'm, I'm getting more comfortable now. Okay. Like things like this mm -hmm. make it easier. Um, you know, being behind the camera, it's always a challenge to get in front of it. Yeah. But in a way, like, when I get behind the camera, I see people in front of the camera, so I learn from them, you know. Okay. Um, and then, you know, I have a partnership with eBay coming up, which mm -hmm. was, like, crazy. Yeah, no, that was um, yeah. They reached out to me on Instagram, and they're doing this new campaign where they're um, authenticating sneakers and watches. Mm -hmm as a as a new segment to ebay so you know how you buy things on ebay and you might not know if the sneakers are real or not what ebay is doing is you can send them the sneakers and then they will say yes or no to if they're real or fake mm -hmm. and then from there like the buyer has confidence in buying the sneakers now okay. and ebay is doing that i think it's free of charge so it's no extra you know charge on the user or the seller or the buyer's end you know so Super cool. No, that is super cool, especially because eBay reached out to you, you know? Right. And right. Um, that's dope, though, how they, I feel like when a company reaches out to you, it's because you're like a perfect fit. Right. So, how, what is that feeling when you have this company that's well known reach right. out to you? Like, how do you feel at the moment? I mean, it's, it's insane. Like, <laughs> it's eBay. Like, and it's just like, sometimes, like, you feel like, you know, you're just grinding, grinding, and nobody notices. Mm -hmm. But it's like, I sat back and thought about it. I'm like, yo, this company's been watching me for a second. Then. It's not like they just woke up and was like, let's pick Jalen. Like, they had to watch me for a little bit. Yeah. And make sure, like, I was the right fit. Which 
puts you know confidence back into myself it's like okay i'm on the right path yeah let's just keep it up you know yeah. oh, that's dope that's dope um i was gonna ask you so i know um you did i feel like this was the second event the one i went to, i came to the right, last right. i went to your first event with uh never back down music group with niche who right. invited me that was dope i've seen you but it was i never really spoke to you right. and this recent event um for black history mm -hmm. month i feel like fashion is a big thing because you're yeah. into fashion like i've noticed that yeah. events where i go to you're it's like fashion art like all around creatives you support right. but fashion i feel like is a big thing for you is right. fashion a big thing for you i try to make it a big thing <laughs> but, you know like i really like my I, me personally i feel like my fashion sense isn't the best oh really but i like to learn from fashion designers i love the back end of fashion i love couture fashion i love runway fashion i like extravagant fashion and that's why like now in my photography i'm focusing a lot on fashion, fashion. photography yeah I've noticed um, that. while i was at scad i worked with a lot of fashion designers and mm -hmm. just the whole process of them making a dress from scratch is just like insane and working with makeup artists and hairstylists like i'm a big collaborative person mm -hmm. so i feel like that's why i like fashion photography the most because to pull it off correctly you need a big team you need mm -hmm. a designer you need a hairstylist you need a makeup artist yeah. you need assistance and it's just at that point it's one big collaboration mm -hmm. so i feel like that's why fashion is is holds dear to my heart because it brings back the whole um working together as a team concept you know that's so um so who are your favorite do you have any favorite small fashion upcoming artists oh yeah for sure um fashion designers mm -hmm. i like uh napore she's really cool she's one of my friends from dubai okay we went to sky together but she lives in dubai and she's a designer for icon swimwear oh, which is so like a big swimwear brand yeah, yeah. they're just dropped a collaboration with city girls oh snap. which is crazy um shway shway is who um i did a collaboration back in 2018 and we have something big coming up. Um, Exciting. Liz, Liz Westerfield, she's super dope. Um, okay. Jay West is her brand. She's cool. Was she was she at the fashion show? Uh, the last one? Because there was these two um, fashion designers that day. No, she wasn't there. No, okay. She wasn't there, but we worked together previously. Oh, so. Um, Nelly was a fashion designer there. Okay. Who had like the puff jackets. Like, yeah, yeah. No, those yeah. were fine. Yeah, those were so fine. Fair. I was like, yo, I can see myself probably wearing this. I'm like, I feel like I'm too short to be wearing some stuff. I was just like, I don't think it fits me. Yeah, models, <laughs> models are tall. Yeah, yeah. I'm five too. And yeah, everybody's taller than me. Like, everybody taller than me too. Wait, how tall are you? If you don't want me to I can't tell you on camera. Okay, but <laughs> just let me afterwards. Cool. <laughs> but that's dope though. Um, so with you saying that you like to collab, um, how do you, like, when people approach you to collab, is there a certain way that you're like, no, nah, I can't, I just can't, or is there a certain way that you would prefer them to, like, ask you? Because some of people, I feel like, are disrespectful, yeah. and so it's just like, mm, no, nah, especially not when it comes to something that you dearly love. Right. So how do you come about with collabing with people? I'm, I'm big on professionalism. Mm -hmm. Like, even when I come to people, no matter how big or how small the project is, mm -hmm. I come from a professional point because if I'm reaching out to you, like, I'm serious, you know? Mm -hmm. So that's all I ask is for people to do the same with me, just, like, like you did it. You was just like, yo, like, I love what you're doing, like, let's do the podcast like, mm -hmm. you know you you did it very professional oh, thanks. and that's all i ask some other people like mm -hmm. i don't mind reaching back out and giving people a hand i feel like that's what it's about you know yeah no definitely i remember you complimenting me about this one photo shoot that i have mm -hmm. on my ig yeah and i'm so i'm down to recreate it and to uh, make yeah. it better because i know I got a lot of compliments on it, so I'm like, okay, yeah, I know next time we could definitely do it better and bigger. Right. And like you said, I'm like, I want to have a full team collab on that because right. it means a lot to me, especially because it's like from my culture, you know? Mm -hmm. It's not just like, oh, let's do some hair and makeup. No. It's right. It's my personal. Culture. Yeah, so yeah. I'm like, yeah, no, definitely. If I can have the best, the best in collab and do something bigger than that, I'm definitely down. So I'm excited to see when we would do that we'll you do know it. we have to do it yeah no i know but i was like i want I like we need to come up with better ideas or something different you know i'm like because right. i'm like yeah the first time is good right but when you come harder next time i agree so I so agree. yeah i'm so excited to do that um so i do see that you also um besides you doing 
a graphic designer and stuff like that, you have actually worked with some artists before, and mm -hmm. you're working right now with Jay Young. Mm -hmm. Wait, that's me. Right. So how did that come about, and yeah. how? Like I know you travel with him, so yeah. how is all that, and how is the experience with all that? Man, Jay Young, he's like he's like my big brother. You know, he's like a mentor, and it's mm -hmm. kind of funny because Jamie Foxx is actually his mentor. Oh, wow. And I feel like Jay Young is like my mentor. That's so in a way, it's like I'm learning under Jay Young, who's learning under Jamie. So in a way, like I feel like I'm learning from Jamie mm -hmm. Foxx. So it's it's honestly a blessing because I met him and I didn't even like, you know, certain people cross your paths mm -hmm. in life. And you realize at the end of the day, it was a blessing in disguise. Mm -hmm. um, so like Jay Young is a musician, actor, singer, like he's the whole thing. Yes. And I'm his creative director, so I handle all his um, creative direction for the album covers, yeah. single covers. When it comes to music videos, like he di he co-directs his music videos, mm -hmm. but sometimes he'll ask me for advice on like how it should look and the style of things. So it's cool because we just have this uh, symbiotic relationship mm -hmm. where we both understand like where we want to go in life. Mm -hmm. And he trusts my creative vision, and I trust him as a musician as, and as an artist. Yeah. So we just build it together, you know. No, that's dope. I actually have, uh, where is it? You did, um, you just had a couple of his um, artwork. Right. How was that? How did you come up with um, these designs for his album covers? Right. I mean, the thing, with, with any artwork I create, I listen to the music first. Okay. I feel like the music has to speak to me, you know. Um, so as I'm creating the artwork, I, I'm listening to the track in the background, or I'm listening to that artist's music, mm -hmm. so I can kind of, so I can embody the music into the artwork, and I try to have the theme of the artwork cohesive with the theme of the song. Okay. So if it's a song about like love, like I might put some roses in there or something like mm -hmm. that, you know. Okay. Yeah. That's dope. Um. Then one another thing that popped out to me was when you go to your page so your artwork is so different and especially remember those pictures you sent me that one Same. that i loved the ones you recently sent me the yeah. one you did yeah those are fire i can't wait to see those yes. on ig like that one you the one i loved i feel like there was so which many one, symbols which one was your favorite i think it was the top one you sent me but then you, to show you. We don't have to show the audience this too, like. I know it's nice. Do you want me to show it now? Not right. Cause okay, it's, no, like, it's no, for it's for a competition, so I can't release it yet. But like. But this one, I feel like yeah. it symbolizes a lot to yeah. me. I feel like I see so much symbolism behind this, and right. it's like, yo, this is amazing. It's dope. The color, the right. everything about it, the edits. Right. You ain't crazy. Thank you. You that know, it's, it's funny because I I asked multiple people, you know, the same thing because I like to get opinions from other people mm -hmm. um, and everybody like had different opinions mm -hmm. and I even had a different opinion so I just submitted both of them I was like yo like it's like 50 50 like, yeah yeah you no, like that one yeah. somebody else like, like the other, other one. one yeah I like that one so it's like I'm just submitting them both yeah no they're both amazing but yeah. that one for me personally I feel like it spoke more to me just looking at it, it like, was deeper yeah, yeah way deeper and I was like in the colors and stuff like they use and the edits and telling you it's crazy yeah you know mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell you a little bit of background about you know that whole concept and the mm -hmm. photos is actually so it's for a competition with SCAD Fash okay the fashion museum at SCAD and right now they have an exhibit of Albert Watson's photography Okay. Albert Watson is like world renowned photographer. Literally shot 50 Rolling Stone covers, 100 Vogue covers, shot Naomi Campbell, Ducky Thought, Tupac. He's like, done it all. <laughs> he's, he's the GOAT. Yeah. Like, he's yeah. the GOAT for his photography. So we had to create uh, a photo that inspired us from that exhibit. So we had to embrace the exhibit. And create something you know mm -hmm. pretty similar but in our own style yeah and so that's how those photos came out and the model and do you know ducky thought she's like a she's like a big time no honestly i'm not gonna let she, you know she's like a big time fashion runway model okay so albert photographed ducky thought 
the model for that shoot mm -hmm. and Ducky Thought, they're from the same exact place, South Sudan in wow. Africa, which is a very small country. Yeah. And it's it's very hard to make it out of there because there's a lot of, you know, things going on with the politics and the government. It's, mm -hmm. it's not a good environment. Yeah. It's a very bad environment. So the series, the title of the series is called The Land of Milk and Honey. Mm -hmm. So the land of milk and honey means, you know, a lot of times immigrants, they call America the land of milk and honey mm -hmm. because it's very sweet. It's a new environment. It's a place where, you know, people come to find new opportunities. Mm -hmm. So that's what that whole photo is about. It's like she's looking up and she's like, I'm coming from South Sudan, which yeah. is a very crazy place to make it out of and I'm coming to America for a better opportunity for me and my family so that's what that's why it feels so, so like graceful and so like yeah, serious no, and like I, you I know. love everything especially the colors and stuff like that like she did her thing y'all right. so your whole team did their thing oh so man the, it was a big team it was a lot of people Raphael was a part of it um so. Amari um there's so many people Rachel, both Rachels, Nathan Rule's side, like it was, it was a big team. <laughs> no, you did an amazing job with that. I really hope you guys win because, uh, yeah. Of course, it's, it's of course. Amazing. Um, so where do you plan on? What are your future goals with this? Future goals with this, with your brand, marketing, photography. What do you plan on doing in the future? Well, right now, um. You know, future goals is to give back, honestly. Okay. Um, like nonprofit stuff. Okay. Um, just, you know, when I went back to my high school recently, mm -hmm. I saw we got new equipment. Mm -hmm. and I was like, yo, that's, that's cool, mm -hmm. but we never needed new equipment. Mm -hmm. Like, other people needed new equipment. Yeah, yeah. Other schools needed new equipment. And I was Central. like, right. <laughs> and so I'm like, that's awesome, but like the funny thing about it is like the schools who are doing well, they're the ones who keep upgrading and they get, keep getting the funding. Yeah. And the schools that's not doing well, they don't get funding, and it should be the opposite. Yeah, I agree. So I'm like, okay, like I really need to do something about it. Mm -hmm. And I felt like why I thrive so much as an artist is because I had the proper resources. Mm -hmm. And I give a lot of credit to the resources and the teachers I had. So I want to give back to the community and like provide art education to younger kids and provide them with proper resources like laptops and Photoshop and cameras and stuff like that. Because I feel like as long as you have the resources, like a lot of times the talent is there for the kids. Mm -hmm. They just need the proper resources. So that's what I want to provide. Yeah. What about uh, you personally? Do you have anything you're looking forward to yeah, this for sure. year? For sure. Um, anything you can speak on? A lot more fashion shoots. I'm excited for those. Um, a lot more fashion shoots because I really feel like that's my niche. Yeah. Um, it's my lane. And I love fashion. And like I said, I love the, the whole collaborative process mm -hmm. about just photography in general. But I feel like fashion is a little bit different. It's really elegant mm -hmm. and it's well respected, you know. That's true. Yeah. I agree with that, definitely. Any more festivals or concerts or events? in oh, the future. Sure. We're working on um, a virtual iced out festival. Oh. Yeah. So stay tuned for that. That's coming soon. Exciting. That's coming soon. Do you, do you, can you give us a release date or a date yet or is it still in the works? It's still in the works but the release date is going to be sooner than you guys expect. That's exciting. Hopefully yeah. catch us there. Oh well, for sure. Definitely. Definitely. For sure. Um, also uh, we talk about um, so I came to, you have that Black Excellence t-shirt. How did that come about, actually? Right. I want to talk to you about that. Yeah, I mean, the Black Excellence is just, I felt like it was a way to empower us. Mm -hmm. um, black History Month was coming up in February. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I need to do something for the culture. Because in whatever I do, what I like truly believe is culture drives strategy. Mm -hmm. So culture is the bottom of, it's the not the bottom, but it's the base level of, everything yeah and i feel like as people of color we are the culture we just don't know how to properly monetize our culture okay so that was a way of me like you know showing people like look you can do this too so black excellence you know it's, it's just a term to empower us as 
you know, people of color. Yeah. And so, you know, I decided to make t-shirts and a few people bought them, which was great. And yeah. I sold them at the event here. Yeah, I remember. So, yeah. yeah. Can we still get the Black Excellence shirt? Of course, it's still yeah. out. It's still All right, out. guys. So, link in bio, right? For sure, link in bio. Link in bio for Working everything. on new merch soon, too. I'm excited. Like, yeah, just merch for that. everybody. Merch specifically for creatives, actually. Mm -hmm. Like, So, that's going to be dope. I can't wait for that, actually. Dang, you have a lot of the works. Can't wait to see oh, all man. this. <laughs> I mean, like, when things are going good, I believe it's like, just keep going. Yeah. Like, people slow up, you know. They get comfortable. Mm -hmm. I don't get comfortable. I get scared when shit is going good. Uh, no, I agree. Because I'm like, all right, like, it's go time now. You know? Yeah, like, yeah. It's, it's just the beginning. Right. Just wait on it. No, that's so dope. I cannot wait to see you this merch and stuff like that. Um, So where can people reach you at? How can people contact you? For sure. Um, I'm on Instagram at Jaylon Smith, J-A-Y-L-O-N-S-M-I-T-H. Mm -hmm. um, you can view my agency's work at healingstudios.com. Here. Yeah. I'm around, I'm in Atlanta, I'm outside, but I'm working outside, working safely mm -hmm. during COVID, but That's hopefully it'll be over soon. Hopefully. You know. We need that. We need our lives back, especially if you're in your 20s, gonna live my life. Exactly. Like, exactly. Exactly. But I... Go ahead and shake the room. Shake it. I'm gonna shake the room. Oh. <laughs>